All right, how we doing today? It's a Monday, so nobody likes Mondays. And do you know what else? My Steelers lost to the Redskins. I know, right? So that makes a bad day for me. Now, for some of you, you're like, yeah, that's a good day for us. <laughs> that's not a good day for me. I don't like that at all. But nonetheless, that's where we are. So while everybody's getting in and getting settled, let's go over a little bit of information here just so we can make sure everyone's on the same page about every little thing. And, um, well, what did I just do there? I was trying to fix something. I think I messed it up. Anyway, my feedback, it is automated on eBay. Anytime that you leave positive feedback from me, you are instantly going to get positive feedback in return. And of course, the other thing there is to say thank you. I always appreciate you being here, bidding, breaking, chatting, and hanging out with me. We are next going to take a look at what's coming up in the days ahead. So tomorrow night, we're going to break a 10 box case of Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets and a 12 box case of Leaf Ultimate Draft Baseball. On Wednesday, we do have a new release, and that is Bowman Draft. We are going to break a half case of Bowman Draft Jumbo. That doesn't sound like a lot because it's only four boxes, but it's a lot because there are a ton of cards in there. So, yeah, it'll keep us plenty busy on Wednesday night. Thursday, we will open a 10-box case of TriStar Autograph Mini Football Helmets that time. So Leaf Mini Helmets on Tuesday, TriStar Mini Helmets on Thursday, and then Flawless Baseball, another half-case break of that on Thursday night. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday will all be off nights, taking a long weekend. Oh, I know, right? Here's what you need to know about shipping. Well, for one thing, I messed it up, so that'd be the first thing to know, right? <laughs> Let's see if we can just get that fixed. There we go. That looks a little bit more like the way it should, doesn't it? I believe it does. Okay, so we've got a case of Leaf Autograph football jerseys tonight. That is a free shipping break. The way the free shipping break stuff works is like this. If you hit one of those jerseys, it's going to ship out to you sometime within the next seven days. So it could go in the beginning of that, could go in the middle, could go towards the end, but would not be later than one week from today. Now, if you are in the jersey break and you get skunked and your team is not pulled, you are still entitled to a consolation card. That's simply a loose used random trading card, it can be from any year and any series. I keep track of it for a rolling 90 day period and typically would send it along with your next package because this is a free shipping break. If, however, you would like to have it sent sooner by itself, you only need to send me a message on eBay letting me know that, and I will get it taken care of for you. Our second break tonight, that is Panini Prism Collegiate Draft Picks Baseball, and that I'm hoping to have out the door approximately Thursday. Now, as always, that is plus or minus a day uh, in either direction. And I believe everybody's going to pull cards in Prism Draft Picks, so I don't think we have to worry about that. I believe all of our jerseys are paid up. We may have some Prism Draft Pick spots open, but the jerseys uh, are paid, so let's go ahead and get that break under our belts tonight. So first up is our 10-box case of 2020 Leaf Autograph football, <coughs> excuse me, football jerseys, and this is a full case break, and it's break number one. This came out on Friday. Of course, we're breaking it tonight because we had so many releases on Friday. And this ended tonight on eBay the same night we are breaking it, which is Monday night, the 7th of December. You'll find your team names on one side and the eBay user ID of each winning bidder across from their team there on the opposite side. And of course, if you are here for Prism Draft Picks, don't wander too far off. It will be right after we break these jerseys and you'll get a chance to see your name up there then. Last little piece of business, I do mess with your focus. I know, in more ways than one, right? But <laughs> in this case, I mean the focus of the camera and I am making it blurry in the background. That is intentional, so please don't let that worry you. Now, this case is large and it is, as you might imagine, with 10 jerseys in it. It's too big to fit on my little table here, so I'm going to cut it open down here and get the boxes out. As if I can do it without slicing something off. <laughs> like, my little utility knife just went flying right there. I was like, Ooh. 
Yeah, that was that was not good for a minute. All right, so let's get them all out of here first. Purple boxes this year. Okay, there's our last two if you wanted to see them. Now I'm going to stack all but one off to the side so we can open these one at a time. Let me get the big box out of the way. I'll give you something different to look at while I'm doing that. Okay, so of course if these uh, are custom jerseys for NFL teams, pro teams, obviously it's going to go to that team. If we find an autographed collegiate jersey, which we do sometimes, if they are an active player in the NFL, it will go to their current team. This again, if it is a signed collegiate jersey, if they are a retired player, it would go to the team they played for the longest. Okay. Hey, Jeff. Hi, Curtis. Uh, Curtis, we might have some spots in Prism Draft Picks Baseball, but everybody's paid here in our first break for the jerseys. So the first thing I see is a Fred Dean, and it is, who is that, Authentication? Prova or something? I don't know. But meanwhile, there's also a Beckett Authentication. That's the more important part. And there is your Beckett COA. So Fred Dean is the first out tonight. And give me one hot second here. I do want to check one little thing. And make sure that I, 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 that I am uh, telling you the right thing, if I can manage to get where I need to be, because I honestly remember him as San Diego. But I believe that other, I mean, obviously those were not the colors of San Diego. That looks like San Francisco's colors that we saw, and I'm just going to verify that here in a second. And. Yeah, that is. That is the number he wore for San Francisco and, of course, the colors as well. So, yeah, that is the 49ers on that Fred Dean. I just wanted to make sure. And next up, we've got the Rams, Marshall Falk. And there is your Marshall Falk autograph along with a Beckett authentication sticker and a Beckett paper authentication. So... Marshall Falk for the Rams, Fred Dean for the 49ers. That's what we've got going right now. Jeff says, yes, he only played for those two teams. Yeah, well, you know, I always like to make sure if I've got any question in my own mind about something, I always like to make sure. Oh, boy. Kansas City. Oh, boom, baby. How about that, Kansas City Chiefs? That is exactly what you wanted. That is a fantastic hit, a Patrick Mahomes autographed jersey. And that is JSA authenticated. There's our sticker and our paper JSA authentication. And you get the nice Patrick Mahomes jersey for Kansas City. That's a fantastic hit. I like the way our case is going so far. Somebody else messaged me earlier today and said, they watched a case break of this over the weekend, I guess it was, and out of one case, they pulled Jerry Judy, you know, for the Broncos, pulled him four times. <laughs> I was like, holy crap, I hope we don't pull anybody four times tonight. <laughs> so far, so good. We're off to a good start. This is Kellen Winslow out next, and your Hall of Fame inscription It is Beckett authenticated both paper and sticker. And I believe he's, isn't he the Chargers? Let's just make sure, because there is a junior and a senior, and I don't want to uh, tell you the wrong one. So this is senior, of course, obviously. You can tell by the Hall of Fame induction. And it looks like, yeah, he is San Diego, the Chargers. So, all right, very good. Got Kellen Winslow all checked out. I know, I know it's a nerd. I'm a nerd. I go check them out, but I do want to make Make sure I've got them going to the right place. So, Stanglover is looking for Joe Burrow and the Bengals. All right. Right, I know Junior's not in the Hall of Fame, Curtis. That's why I said that the jersey was obviously senior, but I just wanted to make sure I was 
sending it to the right team since both junior and senior had played. I didn't want to have the teams mixed up in my head, junior versus senior. That's all I was saying. I obviously knew that was senior. So Mike Singletary for the Bears comes out next. Hall of Fame inscription as well. It is Beckett authenticated sticker and paper. In fact, Junior is like in all kinds of legal trouble. As a matter of fact, <laughs> Junior's like off his nut, but but not Senior. So yes, Jeff, I did go verify that it was the Chargers. Of course, that's what I said when I when I have any doubt in my head, I do go look it up, guys. That's why when I come back and tell you, yep, it's right, that means I have gone to the NFL website and made sure that what I've told you is right. So yeah, we're good there. This is Emmett Smith out next. It is Beckett authenticated both sticker and paper. And that, of course, headed to the boys. You would figure there would be at least one Dallas Cowboy in a case, wouldn't you? There's usually quite a lot of them. Oh, the plot thickens. Who is this? Oh, wow, it's Justin Herbert. <laughs> Chargers are having themselves a night, aren't they? Daggone. That's a nice hit. Justin Herbert, and it is Beckett authenticated. And this is obviously his collegiate jersey, but again, going to current team since he's an active player. And there's your Beckett paper. So a Justin Herbert and the Chargers. The rich keep getting richer. Jeff, is, oh, he is definitely in prison now. I knew he was on trial. We're talking about Kellen Winslow Jr. to track back. I knew he had gone on trial, but I did not know if he was still on trial or if he had actually been convicted and gone to prison or what. I had missed the, I had missed the rest of the outcome on that. I've got a Don Maynard, and Don is Beckett authenticated by both sticker and paper, and Don Maynard is going to be headed off to the Jets, and we have got two left right now. And the Jets, like, almost won, right? Did anybody else see that? That they really probably should have won the game, but it's also probably a good thing that they didn't win the game because <laughs> I think their end prize is going to be the number one pick in the draft, and Lord knows they could use Trevor Lawrence. And there's no question he will be the number one pick in the draft. I think everybody knows that. Gail Sayers, we've got another out for the Chicago Bears. And once again, we find it Beckett authenticated both sticker and paper. Jeff says he almost took the Chargers. <laughs> oh, no, man. That's rough. This is our last one. This is box number 10 that we're opening right now. Then we'll recap them really quickly. And then it will take me a moment to get them put away since I have them, uh, every, all those boxes everywhere right now. And I've got to get them out of the line of fire in a moment. So Steve Largent comes out next. It's the Seahawks. We've got a Beckett paper authentication. There's our Beckett sticker authentication. And even though it's slightly in the fold, there is your Steve Largent autograph. Let's see if we can, yeah, we really can't unfold it the whole way, but, but that's it. All right, so let's just start our recap with that. We've got the Seahawks and Steve Largent, followed by a Gail Sayers out for the Bears. Oh, I've got plastic everywhere. <laughs> Don Maynard came out for the Jets. And a couple of, of really nice hits in here. This is one of them, of course, with a Justin Herbert on a collegiate jersey going to his current team, which is the Chargers. And then we've got the Dallas Cowboys in play with the Emmett Smith. The Bears are hitting again right here with Mike Singletary. So a good break for both the Bears and the Chargers. And this is Kellen Winslow, and that is the Chargers. So that's jersey number two headed to them. For the 49ers, we have the Fred Dean. That's the very first one that we saw tonight. Oh, my stack is trying to oh, slide off. Instead, I knocked off a bunch of my storage boxes, but that's all right. We don't care about those storage boxes. 
Well, we do, but not if they fall on the floor. <laughs> Marshall Falk for the Rams. And then this little beauty right here, Patrick Mahomes for the Kansas City Chiefs. So Mahomes and Justin Herbert out of one case, not too shabby. Okay, so here is what I'm going to do. It's going to take me just a hot second to get this out of the line of fire. And as soon as I can do that, we're going to come back and deal with our collegiate draft picks. I'm going to let you look at that for a moment. And I'm also going to let you ponder something. If anybody wants to pick up the Nationals in this break, the person who bought them said they weren't going to pay for them because they thought they would win more teams. That's a new one. <laughs> I always get new excuses every night, but that's a really brand new one. One second, I'll be back. All right, got all those boxes out of there, so now I can throw some more boxes on the floor here in a second. That's the general idea. Clean up one set and throw another set on the ground. <clears throat> okay, so if you hit one of those jerseys, it's going to ship to you sometime within the next seven days. And if you did not hit one, consolation card typically held to send with your next package. If you want it sent sooner by itself, hit me up and let me know. We'll take care of it. Prism Collegiate Draft Picks Baseball is up next, and that should be out the door approximately Thursday. As always, plus or minus a day. And pretty sure everybody will pull cards in there, so we really shouldn't have to worry about uh, consolation cards in that one. And did anybody want the Nationals? No, I guess not. Okay, all right. Then let's uh, go over here and just get that cleaned up. That's our lovely person who says, whoops, whoa, who says, hey, I'm not going to, what just happened? <laughs> who said they're not going to pay because they thought they would win more teams. Yeah, you got to love people like that, don't you? They're like my favorite. Just come up with a reason to like not pay for stuff. All right. So other than our uh, wayward a-hole who didn't pay. Everybody else good to go. So we are breaking six boxes of 2020 Prism Collegiate Draft Picks. Also a Friday release that we're not breaking until tonight because there were so many things on Friday. So this break number one ended tonight on eBay. Same night we're breaking it Monday night the 20 or Monday night the 7th of December. Not hardly the 27th is it? Team names are on the left hand side winning bitter eBay user ID across from each team on the opposite side. And then, of course, the Nationals there noted as unpaid. So that's the deal there. And we are ready to be off to the races, aren't we? So Prism Draft Baseball, we've got five autographs per box. It does say on average. And let me grab my water. One sec. My asthma is kicking my butt this winter. And all this medication I take just dries out my mouth so terribly. Anyhow, okay. So Prism Draft Picks, five autographs per box on average. On average means to us in the real world that every once in a while they don't give us what they're supposed to give us. If that happens, uh, you know, that covers their rear ends. We'll see why A. The other thing it can mean is that sometimes they replace a hit with Panini Rewards Points. If they do that tonight, we will use random.org at the end of the break and give those out. And let's see, Cadillac says there were no lions in there. Yeah, no lions. I know, I'm sorry. And Jeff says there were no Vikings or Steelers either. 
Sang Lover says Burrow and his 2020 Voodoo. Not a good mix. I thought we hit something Burrow for you out of uh, some leaf product. Did we not? I thought we did. Jeff, the Nationals closed at, I don't know, not much, $12 or $13, or something like that. Sang says they ended at $13.50. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Stang lovers on top of it. Yeah, I mean, you know the deal. It's just these people who just aren't going to pay for their stuff no matter what you do. And and uh, that's how it goes. So there's just people like that out there. We shouldn't be surprised. All right. Obviously, in collegiate uniforms, they go to their current teams, some of which I may know, some of which I may not. That is Gus Steiger on a fireworks. It is a prism. It was unnumbered. The ones uh, like that, we typically are not going to spend a whole lot of time on other than I'll, I'll just call them out as we go. The first autograph I see, it is numbered to 10, and it is Dane Acker, A-C-K-E-R, Acker. Don't know where he goes. going to tell you freely. I'm not going to know some of these guys. Some I will, some I won't. And depending on what kind of mix they put in here, uh, it could go either way. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is that one numbered? It is not. So it's another prism, but another unnumbered one. That one is to 99. And Garrett Crochet is a white sock. That much I do know. can say with some certainty there. Which means this will be terrible to sort through because I'm not going to know some of these guys. going to take forever. And Jared Jones comes out next. That is a silver prism, but an unnumbered one. Spencer Howard. Oh, maybe it's going to say on the back. Hang on a minute, because that one did say Philadelphia. Does this one say anything? No. No. I <laughs> figures. I got, I got all excited there for a minute. I was like, ooh, maybe they're all going to say. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, well. It was worth looking at. So this one goes to the Phillies, Spencer Howard, our second autograph out for the night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bryce Bonin, that looked like it would be numbered, but it isn't numbered either. It appears to be the mojo pattern on there, and it was blue, but unnumbered. I've got a fireworks Luke Little. He is numbered over here on the side to 75 for the Luke Little. So lots of parallels in here thus far. That's maybe a good thing, right? Kierstad, Heston Kierstad, that's another silv silver, ooh, silver prism. Eventually I'll get it out. Then I have a Nick Lofton autograph coming out next. That is our third of five that we're expecting to find in this box with Nick Lofton. And he is Kansas City. Kierstad again, an unnumbered. This looks like it should be numbered. And let's see if it is. Yes, it is cracked ice to 23. And that is CJ Van Eck with our next numbered hit. And our first cracked ice of the night is uh, CJ Van Eck. And CJ goes to Toronto, I do believe. A silver prism, Landon Knack. Followed by Cade Michaels, numbered to 15. That's what I would call the snakeskin variant. That is what it looks like to me. So that's what we're going to go with. And I do not know where Cade goes. I do not remember where he goes. Austin Wells, that is unnumbered. We've got a green, Jared Kelly, numbered 275. So at least we know our green, or to 75, making progress. Got Shane Drohan in a silver prism. And mostly I'm waiting to sleep those after the fact. But that one, well, I did it out of habit. So that's all right. It would have gotten done eventually anyway. We just did it now, so... Ed Howard is our last autograph out of this box. Ed Howard goes to the Cubs. And that is autograph number five out of box number one. Sammy in Infante, I know I say that wrong, and um, sorry, he's a national. Followed by Reed Detmers, he's numbered to 50. And 
Let me think about this. I want to know where Reed goes. I angels, maybe. <laughs> she says with a big question mark for Reed Detmers. Maybe, maybe. I think that's right. Anyway, so. All right, polished off box number one. Onward and upward we go here with box number two. Yeah, this is going to take forever to sort because I am only going to know a portion of these guys. Oh, yeah, this is going to be brutal. <laughs> I, am, I am not looking forward to sorting this product. Ooh, yuck. But you know what? It'll be one step closer to memorizing them all, right? Every time I sort it, I come a little step closer to committing it to memory, so... That'll come in handy down the road, hopefully. All right, there's a Greg Workman. That is a silver prism. Then we've got a Hudson Haskin autograph. That's Baltimore, the Orioles, numbered to 60. Got a Fireworks that is a blue mojo. Again, those really look like they should be numbered, but they aren't. And this is numbered, Landon Knack. He is numbered to 35, so fairly low number, Landon Knack. And I don't know where he goes either, particularly. Daniel Cabrera. I always want to say the wrong team for him, so I just won't guess. <laughs> I say it wrong like just about every time. Ian Seymour comes out next. It's the Cabrera that throws me off, you know. That's always what gets me because I it always makes me think that it's Detroit, but it's really not. I think he was Miami, but I wouldn't swear to it. Uh, that going back to Cabrera, not not Ian. Ian is the Tampa Bay Rays. I did have him written down because I knew I would forget him because I always do. Mason Hickman. Got another cracked ice. Zach Veen, number to 23. So a couple of cracked ice already. Zach Veen is a Colorado Rocky. Uh, Reed Detmers was not an autograph, I don't think. Honestly, I don't remember. I know I said his name. I don't think he was an autograph. There was a Hudson Haskins silver prism. But here he is as an autograph. So there you go. Now he is. <laughs> now he's an autograph for sure. So there you go. And it was, again, on a snakeskin type parallel and number 215. So good low number autograph for Reed Detmers. And I'm pretty sure he's the Angels. I mean, I wouldn't say 1,000% sure, but pretty sure. Slade, would I go with Ciccone, but that may not be how you actually say it, but that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Isaiah Green is numbered to 99, and what else have we got in here? There's Hayden Cantrell. Don't know about Hayden. Austin Wells comes out next. And Austin is an autograph, and Austin is headed to the Yankees. Got a blue wave, Luke Little. We've seen Luke a bunch tonight in a variety of parallels. He's coming out like crazy. Jeremy Wu Yelland, numbered to 99. And a lot of base. There's a David Calabresi, silver prism. A Cole Henry autograph. And Cole Henry is number 260 on a blue parallel. That one is going to the Washington Nationals. A mojo pattern for Holden Powell. And a scope blue. And that is Bryce Bonin, number 215 on the nice little scope. So we've had a few low-numbered things hit so far. So I like that. That's good news. A lot of low stuff. Stanglover says he's clairvoyant. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm not. I would have known not to buy the Bengals and the jerseys. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, who could have predicted, right? Who could have predicted? You never know what's going to come out in those. Frankly, I'm just glad we didn't have the situation where we had four jerseys of the same guy, which apparently happened in some other case over the weekend. That's what Jay Allen told me, saying he sent an email earlier today and said he had seen one, or maybe it was yesterday. Anyway, he sent me an email and said he had seen one over the weekend. That one case in the break, in a one case break that had seven, no, had four, gosh, I cannot multitask, had four Jerry, why can I not get it out? Judy jerseys, whoo, in one case, four of them for the Broncos, all in one case. So I was just glad that we didn't have that happen, frankly. All right, there's AJ uh, Vukovic with a silver prism. I've got a Nick Abel autograph. It's numbered 223. You would have thought that might have been cracked dice when you turned it over, being that it was numbered to 23. But in fact, it was not. And Nick Abel, or Mick Abel, was it Mick or Nick? Mick. Yeah, Mick, sorry. Goes to the Phillies. All of a sudden, I'm all out of sorts, aren't I? Austin Hendrick. I started daydreaming. That's why. Nick Sweeney, <laughs> number to 99. I started going back through the jersey break in my head, and then I started just messing up, singing all kinds of crazy stuff. So obviously, I cannot do all of those things at once. I cannot break and look at chat and think all at the same time, <laughs> apparently. Nick Bitsko with a silver prism. Here comes Daniel Cabrera, the one I keep wanting to call for the wrong team. But it's an autograph this time, so it is numbered to 20. And honestly, I'll have to look it up. I think, I always want to say he's the Tigers, and then somehow I think he's maybe not the Tigers, but I always think he's the Tigers. So, you know what, let's just look him up right now. Let's just look him up right now, and then I'm going to know, and then I'm not going to have to guess, all right? So... Because I don't want to keep saying it wrong, especially now that we've pulled his autograph. So, where are you, Daniel Cabrera? Oh, he is a tiger. Huh, I was right the first time. Well, hallelujah. What do you know? I was right and thought it was wrong. Slade Ciccone again. Most of these are unnumbered, and they look like they should be numbered, but they're not. Brady Singer, that one is to 50, headed to Kansas City and the Royals. Next up, I've got a Clayton Beater Silver Prism. Here comes Spencer Howard again. And this is a loose box break even. That's the second Spencer Howard for the Phillies. So that's kind of crazy. Another Austin Hendrick. And survey says another Kierstad, numbered to 99. That one was for Keston Kierstad. Jeremy Wu Yelland again with a silver prism. We've got Zach Britton, Zach number 225 with some fancy tiger stripe going on there for Zach Britton. And honestly, I don't remember where he goes either. So we'll have to look him up. Jackson Miller, unnumbered. And another Zach, all kinds of Zachs tonight. This one is Zach Deloach. It is numbered to 25, and that's a Mariner. Zach Deloach is a Mariner. Stang Lover says, come on, Zach Veen Auto. Didn't we already hit that, Stang? We hit something, Zach Veen. Wasn't it his autograph? Was it not? <laughs> we hit a Zach Veen something. I do remember that. Maybe it wasn't his autograph then. Sam Weatherly, a silver prism. I've got a Spencer Strider out next. That is numbered 225. Got another nice little stripe there with Spencer Strider, and I do not know where he goes. Carson Tucker. And then number 235, I've got a Joe Boyle. So decent number of uh, low numbered cards in here so far tonight. I mean, a reasonable amount, anyway. Okay, we are halfway there. We've opened three, and we have got three left. Jay Allen is here. <laughs> he 
Yeah, I was talking about the email you sent me about the break with the four Jerry Judy jerseys in it and how glad I was that we did not have a case that had four of the same player in it. Now, we did have a couple for the Chargers and a couple for the Bears, so we did have teams that got more than one, but thankfully they were not the same player, at least. So I was happy about that much. Oh, it was a parallel for Zach Veen. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. I could, I, I've i said so many different names here during this break. I couldn't, couldn't tell you for sure. I just remembered saying his name. That is Gage Workman with a silver prism, followed by a Daniel Lynch autograph. And that goes to the Royals, followed by another Slade Ciccone parallel. Got another nice little stripe here. This one to 99 for Rhea. And what in the world was that? Somebody must have texted me or something. Thought I had moved my phone, but I guess I hadn't. Hayden Cantrell. Tyler Freeman with a little autograph here for the Indians. And I've got a blue parallel Werner Blakely. Oh, that's a mouthful. Mason Wynn. Mason is numbered 250. Pretty sure he's the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. Reasonably. Reasonably sure that he's the Cardinals anyway. A fireworks Daniel Cabrera, which is Tigers. Nick Swinney. Not, uh, did we hit him a while ago? No, we hit another Nick, I think. Number to 50, Nick Swinney is a giant going to San Francisco. Now I've got Alika Williams. Those are unnumbered. A green parallel number to 75 with Dylan McLean. A couple more base. And what else have we got? An Evan Carter silver prism. Bryce Bonin, who we've seen a few times. He is numbered to 25. And I do not know really where he goes either. But you know what? Since we've um, pulled his autograph let's just make sure i don't mind on the parallels waiting to check it out until after the break but since we have an autograph for him let's just check him out oh he's my cincinnati reds how did i not even know that i didn't even know bryce Bond was part of my cincinnati reds uh farm team what do you know huh you'd think i would have known that but i didn't i did not luke little now i do and Holden Powell is numbered to 75. Goes to show what happens when you get older. I'm lucky if I remember my name most days. Robert Hassel, Silver Prism. And here comes Slade Ciccone, numbered to 60, the big 6-0. I'm not that old, but my brain maybe feels that old. <laughs> Slade is the Diamondbacks. Warner again with a parallel, and then we've got a Stevie Emanuel's parallel that is numbered 210. A couple more base cards. We are four down, two to go. Jay Allen says, I'm not old. <laughs> Listen, my brain is old. My brain is so old and tired every day. It, like, struggles. <laughs> it's going, oh, you got to remember all the rookies for football, and you got to remember all the rookies for basketball, and you got to remember all the rookies for baseball. And then when I'm trying to remember those things instead, I end up, like, hearing the lyrics to the Jeffersons in my head or something. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's harder to remember all that stuff than it used to be. Not the Jefferson's lyrics. It's not harder to remember that. I mean harder to remember all the draft classes and that sort of stuff. A silver prism, Dax Fulton. I believe he is a Marlin. Here comes Tyler Freeman. Another one for the Indians. And I believe that is a second Tyler Freeman that we've hit, autograph-wise. Matt Nanning. This is Nick Lofton. It is numbered 250. 
And what else do we have? A silver for Colton Keith. And a Cade Michaels autograph, number 215. And did we look him up earlier? I did not. Did I? Did I look him up? I don't think I did. So let's pause for a second and check him real quickly. Because I don't think we hit his autograph earlier. We saw him in some other uh, parallel or something. He is the White Sox. All right. So Cade Michaels, the autograph we just pulled, Chicago White Sox according to MILB.com, Emerson Hancock, number 299, there's Dylan McLean, I know we've seen him before, a silver prism for Addison Coffey, and an autograph for Nolan Gorman, well that's nice for St. Louis and the Cardinals, we like that, I like that. Nick Gonzalez for the Red Wave. And then I've got a Hudson Haskin, number 275. And that, oh, I was sorry, that finishes up that box, but guess what? It doesn't. And we'll stack it back here. Jesse Franklin with a silver prism. And Stevie Emanuel's number 225. And Stevie, we let's look him up while we're at it. Stevie Emanuel's. All right. Stevie Emanuel's is Oakland. He's the A's. There's Matt Manning. And then Jesse Franklin, number 299. A few more base rolling through here. A silver Talento. Is that how we're going to go? That's how I'm going to say it. <laughs> Sorry, is that how we're going to say it? But I don't know how you're going to say it. But that's how I said it. Brian Mata, Boston Red Sox. Mata, Mata, one of the two. Tyler Gentry. Green should be to 75, and this is Landon Knack. We saw him earlier, I think, in some sort of parallel, perhaps, and now we've got him again. And we are rolling into box number six, and last box, Mojo. Ah, oh, Stang Lover said I'm old. <laughs> oh, he's right. <laughs> I am, I am. I'm about to get older, too. I'm just uh, a few days away from being another year older. I... Chops is looking for the socks, or he's saying go socks, so he maybe had the, had the white socks. Or the Red Sox, but probably the White Sox is, yes. Oh, Jay Allen's clarifying. He said Stanglover said he was old. Okay. Well, let's just say we're all old. How about that? <laughs> we'll just go with that. We're all old. I don't know. That is a sweet-looking card, isn't it? I like that. That's a Dominican prospect card. And here's the deal. If he has signed with anybody, obviously it'll go to that team. And if not... Uh, we'll random it, I guess. Since the international signing period didn't happen because of COVID, it's not happening until January or February. It kind of messes all that stuff up. That was Joe Boyle with Silver Prism. I, I should set Mr. Dominican Prospect up there so I don't forget to look him up. That would be the better place to put him. And housekeeping, along with that redemption, which we'll be flipping over momentarily. And that was a Tyler Keenan. This is a Cole Henry. Cole is number 275. And there's a silver Drew Romo. We have Trevor ha Halver. Trevor Halver autograph. And I've got to look that up. Well, I'm giving a... 
I'm giving it a workover on here tonight on the old MILB.com. Is the Yankees. Casey Martin and Aaron Sabato is number 250. Silver Prism, Caden. I'm not even attempting that last name. You can just forget that. That is not happening. <laughs> no way, no how. Now look, I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be signed, but you can see that it isn't. But it was supposed to be because it was facing around the way the signatures do. It says the autograph is guaranteed and you flip it over and there is no autograph. So that's what when they talk about on average, it covers crap like that. And that's the Colorado Rockies who should have had an autograph on there, but in fact did not. So if you are the Rockies, what I would tell you is this. You can log into the Panini website and there is an option to have cards replaced. And I would certainly send that in and ask to have that replaced with one that is actually autographed. Joey Wiener numbered to 99 and it may take them three, four, six, eight, 150 years, but probably six or nine months you would get it back. But I would definitely do that because it was clearly meant to be signed. Max Meyer, Silver Prism. Baron Radcliffe is numbered to 12. Wow, there you go. That's nice. And I don't know where he goes either, so I'm going to look him up too. So let's just check him out real quick. He is the Phillies. Philly Phillies. How about that, Jay Allen? You got 1 to 12. Some guy in your farm system that will hopefully grow up to be good. Matthew Dyer went by. This is Tristan McKenzie, number 235, so a good-looking Tristan McKenzie card. And what else? A silver Prism for Carter ba Baumler. Alaric Solari, it is numbered 225, and that is Minnesota and the Twins for Solari. Next round is a Tyler Keenan that was unnumbered and a numbered Jake Vogel to 99. That out of sleeves over there. Not really out, just out of what's sitting on my table, not out out. I got tons of them, tons and tons. Okay, so we need to do a couple of little housekeeping things here before we, we recap. One of them is I need to check out this guy and make sure that he's not signed with anybody. I really don't think that he is, but I'm going to make sure. And then we're also going to flip over that redemption. But first things first, I'm going to check this guy. Shailen Polanco is his name. So let's see if he comes up as anything. I kind of thinking that he's not signed yet, but again, you never know. Oh, it would help if it didn't auto-correct it to Stalin. That didn't help me any. <laughs> My iPad's thinking I'm trying to Google Stalin. Yeah, that's always good, isn't it? Um, yeah, so he did not come up, so we're going to award him using random.org, okay? So that's what we're going to do there. And now let's flip this over and see who's on the other side. Wander Franco. Oh, Tampa Bay Rays. Saving the best for last there. Base autograph, Silver Prism, Wander Franco. So very good for the Tampa Bay Rays. I don't think that's going to be numbered. We can navigate, navigate over to the Panini website and see if it's numbered. But generally, if it's a Silver Prism, I don't really think it's going to be. But... You never know with Panini, frankly. I mean, stranger things have happened, right? So let's just check it out, shall we? And see if a wander is or not. Base autograph, silver prism. That's easy enough to find. Card number is 116. Whoops, got a little aggressive there with the spinning, didn't I? Uh, yeah, apparently not numbered. If it were numbered, it would tell us over there in the margins, so we know that's not anything to worry about. What we're going to do next is go to random.org, and we've got to go back over here for a hot second first, though. Because I'm going to copy all of our team names, and then we're going to paste them over into random. 
And that is what we will use to find a new home for the Dominican prospect guy. All right, so that's what we're working on right now. So here is the way that random works around here when we have three or, or nine or fewer items in a list. We run random three times and only the third one counts. We have 10 or more, which obviously we do here. We run random one time only. So I'm scrolling through. You can see all of our teams did get copied and pasted in there. Randomizing once, whoever ends up in the number one spot is going to get the Dominican prospect card. And that comes up to Cincinnati, Los Cincinnati Reds. And they are getting this guy here just by virtue of random. So in fact, let's go ahead and label him up as such right now so that I don't have to try to think about it later when my poor little brain is struggling to remember things. All right, so now we will recap our autographs and we'll recap some of our lower numbered stuff. Now, obviously, there's a ton of numbered stuff in here, but I'm not going to do all of it. We're just going to do some of the lower numbered things. So numbered to 35, Tristan McKenzie. Numbered to 50, Aaron Sabato. Nick Lofton to 50. Stevie Emanuels to 10. This is Mason Wynn, and it is numbered to 50. Jeff Boyle is numbered to 35. I've got Zach Deloach to 25. There's Brady Singer to 50. To 15, Bryce Bonin. There's that Zach Veen that we were talking about. You were right, is Cracked Ice to 23. You were spot on that. Landon Knack, 35. Reed Detmers to 50, and another cracked ice is C.J. Van Eck to 23. Our other numbered stuff was all higher numbered, so we're not recapping it. We had one redemption. It was a nice one. Wander Franco, Tampa Bay Rays, will be unnumbered, according to the Panini website. And then the Reds got this card by way of random because, well, that guy hadn't signed with anybody, so we needed to find him a home somewhere along the way. Um, Stang, you think Shaylin is a pirate signee? See, he doesn't come up as that. Uh, he, he doesn't come up as anything. So I don't really think he's, he is necessarily. Now, he may be one that when they can sign, that that's where he's likely to go. Because there are guys in this international signing period that are definitely tied to certain teams. Where we can look at it and say, hey, it's probably that he's going to go to XYZ. But he can't be signed yet because that international signing period that would have been in July got moved because of COVID. And it is now not until like January, I think. So I'm pretty sure he's he's not signed anywhere yet. Otherwise, he would have shown up on MILB.com. I think that's the deal. So, all right, let's review our autographs. Solari, number 225. Radcliffe to 12. This should have been signed and was not, obviously. And that's Drew Romo. He even says on the back, autograph guaranteed. So what I would do, again, if that is your team, when you get that card, you can, that's for the Rockies, you can send that into Panini and ask them to have that corrected for you. And that's what I would do. Trevor Halver, Brian Mata, there's Stevie Emanuels to 25. Then I've got a nice little, a nice, boy, a nice little Nolan Gorman. Get it out in a minute. For St. Louis, it was. There's Cade Michaels. He's numbered to 15. Tyler Freeman, one of a couple of him that, that are in here. Slade, possibly Ciccone. That's how I'm pronouncing it. Bryce Bonin to 25. Nick Sweeney to, I think that's at 60. There's another. Tyler Freeman, Daniel Lynch came out for the Royals, Spencer Strider to 25, Zach Britton to 25, Spencer Howard, another one for the Phillies, Daniel Cabrera, number to 20, he's the Tigers, Nick Abel to 23, but not cracked ice, oddly enough, 
Cole Henry to 60. Austin Wells. There's your Reed Detmers, number to 15. Ian Seymour. Hudson Haskin, number 260. Ed Howard. Caden Michaels to 15. Nick Lofton again. I think we saw him a second ago, didn't we? There's your other Spencer Howard for the Phillies. And then Dane Acker to 10. And that's uh, where we ended things up. You know what, though? Did I look up Dane Acker earlier? I don't remember doing that. So let's look him up right now, too. Just to be on the safe side, we'll go ahead and look up um, Dane Acker while I'm at it. And see where he comes up. Oh, and of course, now I've gotten myself off the page. Dang on it. <laughs> I'm telling you what, if it's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? Come on, Dane Acker, just do your thing here. And that is this guy right here. And he is numbered to 10. And where does he go? Well, I can't get it to come up. Or somehow I've gotten myself off on the wrong page. But anyway, I'll find it before it goes out the door. And obviously, we'll send it to the right place. So, okay. So, there you go. There's the break. There's the recap. What I need to do now is one more time put up the shipping information. And one more time, we'll put up the breaks that are coming up in the days ahead. So, if you missed any of that earlier and you're interested in knowing when your item's going to ship, etc., if you hang on here for one hot second, I'm getting ready to put it back up there and give it another go so we can make sure everybody's had an opportunity to see it. Not the black screen, but that. So if you were in the jersey break tonight and you hit one of the jerseys, you can expect it to be out the door and on the way to you by this time next week. So it might go sooner, but it won't go later than one week from today. If you were in the jersey break and your team was not pulled, you are still entitled to a Constellation trading card. It can be from any year in any series. It's just a loose, random, used trading card for your team. Typically, I would hang on to that and send it with your next package just because this is a free shipping break. If, however, you would like to have it sent sooner, you only need to send me a message on eBay. Let me know that, and of course, I will happily get it taken care of for you. Now, our paid shipping break tonight, that's what we just finished up. That's our Prism Collegiate Draft Picks. And I'm saying Thursday plus or minus a day. So I do still have Prism and uh, to get out the door. So that's going to take a while to sort and get out the door. So I'm hoping Thursday is when this is going to go. But if I end up being off, it wouldn't be by more than a day. And I'm pretty sure everybody pulled cards in. In here so I don't think we have to worry about that now uh, days ahead looks like this so tomorrow night is a 10 box case of leaf autograph mini football helmets and a 12 box case of leaf ultimate draft baseball on Wednesday we have Bowman draft coming out we are going to break a four box half case quantity of the jumbo Bowman draft those will be loose boxes from shared cases four boxes doesn't sound like a lot but it is an ton of cards in that particular product, so FYI. Thursday night, we'll open another 10-box case of mini helmets, but this time it will be the TriStar mini helmets, and then we'll also open a half case of Flawless Baseball, and that is, again, loose boxes, shared cases. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are all off nights, so it's going to be a few of those coming up through the holidays where we might have... Uh, four-day break weeks instead of five-day break weeks, but we'll see. They keep changing the release calendar on me, so we'll see how it all shakes out when it's uh, said and done. But I guess that has got me covered for tonight, other than, let's see if I need to catch up on anything on chat. Stang lover, oh, that's your Romo is yours, okay. Um, well, I don't think that having the, I, I mean, I've never had them ask me for the UPC or the pack or the whatever, but if, yeah, I'll try to remember to save you one of the wrappers. I think that's what you're asking for, right? I'll try to remember to save you that, but they shouldn't ask for that. I mean, clearly it is missing the autograph. <laughs> no matter no matter whether you have the wrapper or don't have the wrapper, they clearly did not affix the autograph sticker to the card. They should be able to replace that, I would think. 
But yeah, it will take them a while. I can tell you that from experience because I've had damaged cards replaced from Panini before and it took, oh, it took a really long time. It took probably five, six months to get them. It was a long, long time. I did get them, but it was way down the road. So, so yeah, that's the deal. And um, I'll tell you the only time they ever asked me for anything beyond just send in the card was when they left an autograph out of something. Like I had opened a personal box of, I don't even remember what it was. And this has probably been five years or more ago, probably six or seven years ago. Whatever it was that I was opening, they had left the autograph out of it entirely. And I had to send them my receipt where I purchased it or a picture of it or a photocopy of it or whatever they requested. And then I had to send them, not the UPC from the box, but it had a little code on the flap of the box. And I had to send them like that flap. So I don't know. But anyway, that's how it was then. So. All right, so that's got it covered for me tonight. As always, thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you joining me. I hope that I will see you again sometime this week. Um, but in the meantime, stay safe and happy and healthy. Enjoy your week, and uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye now.